usually pupils are round and equal between both eyes, but about 20% of the population has naturally um, different sized pupils. Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Tour from Amplify Eye Care here in Olympia, Washington. And today we're talking about pupils. So pupils are the black circles in the middle of the colored part of your eye, and they're responsible for letting light in depending on what situation you're in. So for example, if it's really bright outside, your pupils usually constrict to a smaller size to prevent too much light from getting into the eye. And then opposite of that is if it's dark outside, they expand so that more light can be let in and you can see what you need to see. And usually pupils are round and equal between both eyes, but about 20% of the population has naturally um, different sized pupils. And usually it's very, very small amount, like one millimeter, um, but the different sized pupils is actually referred to as anisocoria. And so for those 20% of people, it's normal and they were born that way, but we want to um, kind of focus on the other portion of the people that have anisocoria not naturally occurring. So anisocoria can um, be caused by underlying medical issues such as Horner syndrome, central nervous system issues, um, other vascular changes, and things like that. So if you, for example, all of a sudden know that one, notice that one pupil is bigger or smaller than the other, say it's following an injury or something, then you would want to come in to your eye care provider and get that looked at. So even though there's no cure for anisocoria itself, we want to do the workup to, to figure out what the underlying cause is and get that treated. Um, and so if, if you notice that, please come in and we can have that looked at. And of course it's case by case depending on what the issue is and we kind of treat it as such.